What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update. And there is a lot of information going on this week and today regarding your second stimulus check when we should be expecting it, what's going on, what's going on with Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden. I'm going to give you all the details of it in this video and the possibility of $2,400 in extra stimulus for tens of millions of Americans. I'm going to give you the details of that also in this video. But first, don't forget to give this video a like down below. It really helps out our channel. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos regarding the second stimulus check and when it's going to come out. First up, we've had big breaking news today that Pfizer has announced that they have a vaccine ready to go for Americans regarding the virus and this pandemic, and it is 90% plus effective, which is absolutely amazing news. I mean, it's almost as good as it gets when it comes to a vaccine, pretty much as good as it gets to a vaccine. This is much higher than the government had hoped with the initial projections that only 50 to 60% effective. This new vaccine from Pfizer, it, from Pfizer is 90% effective. Now, when I reported this in my earlier video at 10 a.m., I had a lot of comments from you guys saying it's a conspiracy. Of course, right after the elections, they announce the vaccine. Let me know if you guys think it's a coincidence. I personally think my brother's a big conspiracy there. As you talk to him, he'll give you all the conspiracies there are. I personally think it would have been a much bigger conspiracy if it was announced right before the election. Well, unless you think the people from Pfizer are Democrats and they didn't want to help President Trump before the election and they want to announce it after the election because they didn't want to help Trump. I don't know. It's a conspiracy theory. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I know a lot of you will have fun even reading through those comments because, yeah, it is, it is kind of crazy that right after the election they announced this vaccine. Kind of crazy. Regardless, this vaccine is an absolutely amazing thing for Americans is it puts light at the end of the tunnel for this virus and this pandemic. However, it is still going to be many, many months until this actually gets out and everybody gets it. They're going to be seeking emergency approval for this vaccine, but even that could take weeks and be lucky to be out before the end of this year. Also, this is a two-dose vaccine. You take one, say, today, then you take the other one 28 days later, and then you become effectively immune, 90% immune to the virus. So that alone is a month time frame. It has to get emergency approval, which could be another several weeks. And then they said they'll have 50 million vac uh, vaccine doses by the end of this year, well, there's 328, 330 million people in the United States. So honestly, we're looking well into next year until we can start to see the light at the end of the tunnel get closer. And honestly, it's still a green light for stimulus. Just today, we're seeing multiple reports. For example, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce CEO Thomas Donahue said that it is essential that we must pass stimulus before Inauguration Day or by the end of this year. Quote, the stimulus bill is essential and the sooner it gets done, the better for the beneficiaries of stimulus and therefore better for the markets and the economy. We're very hopeful that there will be a commitment to do this before the inauguration because that is still quite a ways off. And the Fed has said that failure to provide more stimulus, even in a short, timely fashion, will create months or even years of a longer recovery for the United States because people aren't just going to start rushing out to go to restaurants, to go on cruises, to go to ball games. that there's still going to be a significant portion of the U.S. population, even after the vaccine that comes out, that is very cautious and very you know, take their time approach to kind of get back to normal. Quote, lawmakers have to complete the bridge they started building at the beginning of this pandemic, aka stimulus, to get us to the end of the pandemic where people will feel comfortable going to restaurants and ball games, said Mark Zandi, chief economist at Moody's. Failure to provide more stimulus aid would risk lasting economic damage. 
With bankruptcies and business closures hindering a full economy, industries like restaurants, hotels, concert halls, and airlines continue to be crushed by the virus. And they can't wait much longer for support. Also, many doctors and medical professionals are calling what this, <laughs> they're calling this winter the dark winter because even with a vaccine on the horizon, it'll likely be spring by the time that many Americans are actually getting this. It's being distributed, it's been approved, it's been produced. All that stuff takes at least a few months' time. So by the time we actually come out of this, they're saying that the virus cases will be worse than ever as we've now had over 100,000 new cases every single day for almost a week now. And most medical professionals, including Dr. Fauci, are saying that it's going to get worse going into the winter because colder temperatures, viruses survive better in colder temperatures, and with colder temperatures, more people congregate indoors, which, you know, being indoors spreads the virus easier than being outdoors. With all this being said, Joe Biden wants more stimulus, and so does Nancy Pelosi. Let me give you the details of kind of some new information that is emerging on what their plan is going forward. And let me just let me just get into it. Number one is extend enhanced unemployment insurance benefits. On Joe Biden's campaign website, Biden says he will work, work with Congress to extend the extra $600 per week in federal unemployment benefits that expires at the end of July, quote, however long this crisis lasts. That's $2,400 per month. That was what was passed before, and that is what the Democrats and Joe Biden want again. Now, this is something that the Democrats want, and a lot of this is going to come down to the Senate race. The Senate race is currently 48 Republicans to 48 Democrats, with four seats still left to be decided. And two of those four seats are in Georgia and will be determined on January 5th when they do what's called a runoff election in January, on January 5th, for Georgia to determine those two seats. If that, right now it's 48 to 48, uh, Republicans and Democrats, if that ends up 50-50, that is going to be an absolutely huge win for Democrats because then the deciding vote in the Senate goes to the vice president, which will be Kamala Harris, unless there's something short of President Donald Trump's lawsuits, recounts, and Supreme Court and all that stuff going the distance and turning the tide for President Donald Trump. He's behind in several states um, with almost 100% of votes that he would need to turn over several different states to uh, change the tide of the election. So it is a uh, steep battle for that to happen, but it is a possibility. Now, if the Democrats can get those 50 votes in the Senate, and then they would have Kamala Harris be the deciding 51st vote. They will be able to pass what's called a reconciliation bill, one bill per year, where they will not need 60 votes in the Senate, just a simple majority of 51. And they could do that for stimulus and also for Obamacare or Biden care to do changes to that. So they can do it one time to pass a massive stimulus bill without any Republican approval at all if the Democrats can control the Senate with those 50 votes. That's why that's going to be very important going forward. I will keep you updated on that as more information comes out, but it's going to be a big deciding factor on if they have to negotiate with the Republicans or not. And this is really for next year, okay? There's still stimulus package going on, talks, negotiations going on right now. But let me get to the rest of these things so you can see what the other money is. Next thing is increase Social Security payments. The president-elect has proposed increasing Social Security checks including for veterans and SSI, Supplemental Security Income Beneficiaries, by $200 per month, as proposed by Democratic Senators Ron Wyden of Oregon and Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts. Quote, a simple benefit increase like this will improve the lives of millions of Americans and help our economy stabilize and recover. So this increase in Social Security, SSI, SSDI payments to Americans that are on that program, 
would be well received by tens of America, tens of millions of Americans. That would be two hundred dollars per month or twenty four hundred dollars per year. So we also have another twenty four hundred dollars showing up there by Joe Biden. I know many of our viewers are on Social Security, SSDI, and they just don't get a lot of money every month. So an extra $2,400 per year would be very welcomed by the American public and the people that are on those programs. A lot of those people that are on those programs are the people that need the money the most. So this would provide an additional $2,400 per year going forward if they can pass this program. I will be keeping you guys up to date with this, with stimulus checks, with unemployment insurance, with the state and local um, stimulus that's being passed, with mortgage and rental assistance. I'm gonna be covering all this stuff for you. And again, not every one of these will affect every single person, but as a whole, as a family, we'll be able to help out millions of Americans with each of these different programs. And if I can just help out one extra person, I know it'll be it'll be helpful. I mean, honestly, we have thousands and thousands of people that are on Social Security, SSTI. Maybe their parents are, their grandparents. They are personally. So this would be a very welcomed change. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. The next two things that the Biden administration wants to pass is to make the virus medical treatments free. This would be for all testing and treatment for the virus free for everyone, including any possible vaccines. Pfizer actually announced earlier today with their uh, vaccine that is 90% effective that it will be distributed for, uh, for free, but we will have to get the details on that also. He also said that the federal government should pay 100% of the cost of COBRA insurance for people who lose their jobs during this pandemic for the period that they are eligible. He would also reopen enrollment for the Affordable Care Act plans and provide premium subsidies for those who do not have employer-based coverage. And also, Joe Biden wants to provide paid sick leave, proposing making emergency paid sick leave available to everyone, including part-time workers, gig workers, and independent contractors. Next up in the Democrats and Joe Biden's stimulus plan, aka economic plan, is stimulus checks and student loan forgiveness, two really big ones. Additional economic impact payments for families will be sent should conditions require. It is unclear how much they would be or who would be eligible. Now, Nancy Pelosi, House Speaker and leader of the Democrats in the House, who has now become second fiddle to Joe Biden on the Democratic team, says she wants to pass a stimulus package now as soon as possible with a stimulus check and an unemployment extension, and then another one in January of 2021 when or if Joe Biden takes office. So they want to pass a stimulus package, a stimulus check, and an unemployment extension now, and another check and another unemployment extension and another package at the end of January 2021, or even maybe we could even say the beginning of February 2021. This will likely include stimulus checks for at least another $1,200. Pretty much all the stimulus checks that we've seen in the, the different plans and the different bills have always been at least $1,200 and at least $500 for dependents. And it will be for all dependents most likely this time around because the different bills and the different plans from both sides, the Republicans and the Democrats, have had uh, checks for all dependents this time around. So dependents, there won't be some dependents that are left out. Next up, Joe Biden has endorsed uh, Senator Warren's plan to forgive a minimum of $10,000 per person in federal student loan debt. This was also in the Democrats' HEROES Act 2.0. So this is becoming a very real possibility. Quote, young people and other student debt holders bore the brunt of the last crisis. It shouldn't happen again. He has also advocated for premium pay for essential workers, which is hazard pay, more money for state and local governments, relief for small businesses, which is Paycheck Protection Program and EIDL, and halting evictions and foreclosures for the duration of the crisis. So this would prevent you from being evicted. So honestly, we are going to have a lot of details coming out as soon as this week. Also, as they're working on their stimulus packages right now. And again, they want to pass a stimulus check now and then another stimulus check 
at basically at the end of January 2021 or February 2021. So let's get some relief now and then let's work on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. You can click the bell icon to get notifications when we go live so you don't miss out on this. Almost every day I have different programs from different states, different cities. In this case, we covered the Social Security increase of $200 per month that they want to have done. I will be having details of more of this stuff coming out forward. So make sure you don't miss out on videos so you don't miss out on this important information and share this video so others like you will be in the know of what is going on and what will be coming out going forward. You can click on this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check videos next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA. I have dozens of students that have replaced their entire nine to five income by selling products on Amazon and I teach them how to do that. Click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks guys and I will see you in the next video.